You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Wednesday morning to you, good sir. How you you doing? I'm, I'm full of vim and vigor. (laughs) Yeah, you seem to be. Happy birthday, by the way, Dan. Yeah, it's somebody's birthday. Happy birthday to you. No, no. Happy birthday to you. You know, as a child, I was very young. (laughs) You were? I kind of thought so. I ran away with the circus, but my my parents made me bring it back. (laughs) It is uh, National Nonprofit Day. That's nice. Oh. So shout out to all the people who do the nonprofit thing. And of course, uh, our personal favorite, if you have to have one, the Big Paws Canine Foundation. It is a great organization. Right here in uh, Sioux Falls. Gail and the crew do an amazing thing with at-risk uh, military vets and injured first responders. And the more you know about that organization, the more you love them. That's one of the things that I think is great. The dogs are amazing. The first yeah. time I watched Gail work with... Uh, some oh, of her clients. So yeah. impressive. It was so funny. I just figured, you know, these dogs would be, you know, like the high end German Shepherd hybrids, whatever. It's like, no, they actually secure their dogs through the Humane Society. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. It can be a little weird looking little lap dog, like, you know, kind of your guys' <laughs> choice. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Or, but it's just incredible. Absolutely uh, yeah. incredible. It's big, really impressive. Big Paws Foundation. So, yeah, nonprofit day. Woo. Get after it. Let's see birthdays today. Glad you asked. Brought it up. Bring it up. Sean Penn. Spicoli. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He'll always be Spicoli to me. Yeah. I think he might have been in some other things. but He was in a couple One or two. Things. But Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Spicoli. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Sean is 62 today. Nice. Uh, this guy is really short and really ought to calm himself down. Robert De Niro is 79. Yeah, he's been kind of... He's been wound up. 79. And uh, let's see. But about me, which we mentioned. Yes. yes. Uh, happy, happy <clears throat> birthday. Former child star, now We have got star. a big day planned for oh, you. Oh, do we ever. <laughs> <laughs> We'll oh, talk about geez. it. Jeez, was it my birthday the time you guys abducted me and brought me to France? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was my birthday. It was. We took you to France. That was yeah. awesome. It was amazing. You know, really one was day, fun. turn around, turn it, burn it to France. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. We do what we can because we love you. And finally, she made the go goes go. Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, oh. I love her. She's uh, sixty four today, and if uh, you're up for it, we can do a little dramatic reading, a little something. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Here we go. <clears throat> Set the lights. You the band. Go go music really makes us dance. Doing the pony puts us in a trance. The Watusi, just give us a chance. That's when we fall in line. Cause we got the beat. We got the beat. We got the beat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Woo! Thanks. Yay! Appreciate that. Download the ringtone in about 10 minutes. <laughs> really appreciate that. Historically speaking, things that got us to, well, where we are today, and this was uh, this whole thing was just horrifying, it was this day in 1998. Then U.S. President Bill Clinton admits in taped testimony that he had a, <laughs> quote, improper physical yeah, relationship with intern that. Monica Lewinsky and admits before the nation that uh, he may have misled people about that relationship. Maybe just a little. Just uh, I remember all that. Goodness gracious. Uh, 1978, because Americans just get stuff done. This was pretty awesome. 1978. Buddies, Ben Abruzzo, Maxie Anderson, and Larry Newman become the first peeps to complete the world's first transatlantic balloon flight. Nice. Yeah. A balloon. Let's cover the Atlantic in a balloon, right? Which was probably made by Raven Industries here. Very, <laughs> very possible, actually. By the way, it uh, took them and their balloon, the Double Eagle 2, from Preak Isle, Maine, to some barley field outside of Paris. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, six days and some change. Wow. Another France reference, right? Yeah. In the same segment. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, the French saw them come in, they immediately surrendered. They didn't know what they <laughs> <laughs> Three guys in a balloon, where's the white flags? <laughs> We're in some kind of trouble here. <laughs> and it was in 1936, this is where uh, where this uh, little spiff began, this day in 1936, out of work guy, Niels B. Rude. 
in Madison, Wisconsin, receives the very first unemployment benefit check. Oh, wow. Really? Paid under state law. The amount? Huh. Take a guess. $18. Unemployment check? Six bucks. John's closer was for $15. Wow. Mm, that was over. So it's as close as without going over, so I'm out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that would bring up to around uh, 320 bucks uh, today. But then keep in mind, in 1936, inflation rate was just like 1.46%. <laughs> <laughs> so $15 gets you used car, pay the rent, and a couple pounds of bacon. Yeah. It's all Good right. Days. Well, there you go. I know you know. We all know. We just bounce forward here. We are going to do exactly that. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many of our guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Culture Club, The Cult, Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort in Cancun, Mexico. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel Group. Com. Time now for Back to the Basics in Healthcare with Balanced Life Chiropractic, and we have Dr. Harley joining us. How are you doing, Dr. Harley? Hey, John. I'm doing great. Uh, excited for school coming back now. A lot of our patients, their kids are super excited to be going back to school. So it's been fun talking about, you know, some things that kids can deal with when going back to school. And when kids get back to school, it seems like there's like a, almost always some sort of bug that goes around or something. Is that just because like they're all in the room together now instead of out running around in the, in the fresh air? Basically, yeah. We call it like the back to school flu or back to school bugs or whatever, right? Yeah. Because a lot of your kids, you know, they haven't been around a lot of other people or in a small you know area for a while and they've been outside most of the summer so now that they're stuck in a room with you know 20 30 other kids that have their own germs and bugs and yeah it's easy for those uh you know colds and flus to really start cropping up again but there's definitely some things that you can be doing to help make sure your kids stay healthy and don't get the back to school bugs like everyone else what are some of the things you can do to build up your immune system and, and be able to fight that when you get there all right so i mean There used to be an outside all summer, right? Well, sunshine helps produce vitamin D, which our body needs to help boost our immune system. So making sure that they are getting outside, you know, after school, getting plenty of sunshine or making sure that they're like drinking milk and other things that are, you know, good sources for vitamin D will definitely help with that. And I mean, we talked about it last week with like the ADHD stuff, but like watching what your kids are eating because a lot of sugar really starts to depress our immune system and you know you're tired all the time you're cranky and some other things too then you're not sleeping really well well sleep is a huge part of what our body uses to heal and get over a lot of those germs and bugs so making sure that obviously hand washing is always good covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough all that kind of stuff but there's a lot of things that, you know, kids need to be make sure they're doing to help prevent a lot of those back to school bugs. So getting plenty of rest, getting plenty of uh, fluids, and then also getting some sunshine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're still plenty, plenty of time left in the summer to get outside and get enjoy a lot of that. But if your kid always seems like they're sick all the time, well, maybe there's something else going on. Very nice. If somebody listening is going, hey, I'd, I'd like to maybe learn more about this. How do they go to Holy at Balanced Life Chiropractic? Yeah. So what we see a lot is, you know, people are very much in fight or flight mode all the time. So easy for your body just to be always running, 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 running. Well, you never really get the chance to heal and rest. And that's where a lot of the the constant sickness comes from. So we're seeing that helping calm down the nervous system is their body's able to function better, their immune system's stronger. They're not getting sick as often as able to get over this. So we'd love to have that conversation with you and your kiddos to let you know how we can help. So they can give us a call at 605-215-1785 or shoot us a message on our Facebook page, Balanced Life Chiropractic. Very nice. You can find them online as well, balancedlifesd.com. If you watch the news, you've probably heard about interest rate hikes and other financial factors that could make you a bit nervous. At BetterCreditCards.com, we continue our commitment to help you get a better credit card. On the website, BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. Yeah. 
Uh, it is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Wednesday? It is a Wednesday and time to give a little something away. And I like this a lot. I've got a feeling this is going to be a pretty phenomenal show. A uh, little group put together by some superstars from other groups. Generation Radio is going oh, to be yeah. at Grand Falls Love Casino. these guys. So excited. Grand Falls Casino, Saturday, September 24th. It includes uh, former members of Rascal Flats, yeah. Chicago. Uh, former Tom Petty Heartbreakers drummer uh, Steve uh, for uh, for what is his name? I just call him Steve. There We're you go. tight. <laughs> We're tight. Yeah, yeah I got some a, members of Journey and from the uh, the band. They're that, amazing. Uh, Kenny they're Loggins. amazing. Yeah, I mean, these guys. These guys have been around. It's the yeah. real deal. Every single one of them is you know from a band that had a bunch of number one hits. Yeah. Would you call together? it a super group, John? It is a super, super group. group. Is it? It's a super group. Then it's they all get together group. and they created some of their own music too, which is. Amazing. We've been actually sneaking some of that in on the radio. Well, here. what's interesting is there's like five different hugely successful bands. Yes. Yeah. And when they play, they play at the exact same time songs from those different bands, so it makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you have to decipher no. the whole thing. No, they, they, they take turns. They play band, okay. one song I was kind of making that up. <laughs> <laughs> so a pair of tickets to that, and I'm going to say it's like an $80 value. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's a nice, a very nice uh, prize you're winning here. Okay. Uh Kelly Brewers, come on down. Nice, Kelly. Nice. I know Kelly. Kelly. Kelly should probably bring her husband, Kurt. Yeah, probably. probably. Kelly, in case you don't know, actually lives in a driveway on Suitcase Court. <laughs> <laughs> there are former neighbors. Yeah, Wonderful from, people. Originally uh, from Tracy, Minnesota in 1996. I was actually in the how Tracy the, Municipal Bar. So. How, <laughs> oh my how do you gosh. know all of this? It's crazy world, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, Dan. That's, that's a little inappropriate, mm-hmm. I think. I feel as though we should bleep half of that. <laughs> as far as small town municipal bars go, it was pretty nice. I'm saying. Very you, homey. You <laughs> People are be stealing her identity. They know way too much. It's fantastic. Okay, here we go. What do I find interesting? At least, yeah, what do you at least once a summer, this happens. Yeah. And it always fascinates me. The story starts out maybe a little whatever. You go, not again. But it, it ends, out, uh, ends up pretty cool. A little eight-year-old Asa Baker. In Ohio, set up her little lemonade business. Oh, yeah, yeah. Week she did. Unfortunately, it was right nearby some kind of food festival going on. Mm. And uh, the police showed up. They had to shut her down. This is the mm. most ridiculous. I, I see, hear about see, this. Hang on. It's insane. But it's insane. near a food festival. I understand where maybe there was Apparently, some complaints came from yeah. some of the vendors yeah, that's what who'd, who'd paid full freight yeah. to be there. If you're paying hundreds of dollars to be set up here, and there's a kid across the street doing this for free, and people are going, oh, hey, it's a kid. Let's give him money over there. I get that. I can see where there's an issue. It's whatever. And apparently, uh, the police officer showed up and said, he was not happy. But again... The complaints came in, and it is what it is. Yeah. It said, you know, you kind of need to be licensed to do this. And one thing yeah. led to another. However, the little budding eight-year-old entrepreneur was not shut down long. <laughs> Local business got wind of it, said, hey, you know what? You can open up here. Nice. We do a lot of business here. Right. Not, see, and that's better. I then like that. somebody else gave her a little custom-made lemonade stand with a matching shirt. So she got branded. Oh, how and cute everything. is that? Yes. See, I love this. I love where this is going. The officer came by and gave her 20 bucks. Because nice. he kind of felt bad about the I whole thing. I bet he did. I bet he did. Just doing his job. Yeah. And uh, things, are, uh, things are going... Uh, Gangbusters, but good for her. But you guys can both see where that would be an issue for these vendors. Well, John, I'm kind of with you. I'm going okay at an early age. Kids need to yeah. find out how the world uh, uh, really works. And I want, yeah. I want this kid to do well, you know. But if if I'm setting up and I'm paying to be at this event, and there's a kid across the street for free, that doesn't seem fair. Then why can't I just set my tent up across the street for free? No, I get that. So again, I understand where there was an issue. I love the solution, and I love that business that said, "Hey, yeah." And you're here. required if you're going to do that to get a business permit. While you're in this particular town, it's like forty bucks. Yeah. And this uh, business owner pointed up the forty bucks to nice. get her to get her papered and totally legit and everything else. So uh, one thing led to another. They figured out how stuff works. But yeah, stories I like bet this. This kid did really well. Yeah, and again, I think kids at an early age should learn. Okay, here's the reality. Yeah. Right. You know, here's the reality. One of my favorite stories along those lines actually came from my son, Luke, and he was uh, in the military, Special Forces Airborne Station out of Fort Carson, Colorado. Well, there was a big arcade in, in Colo Springs, Colorado <laughs> Springs, the adjoining town there, 
And he and his buddies on occasional Friday nights would go and play laser tag. Oh, yeah. Well, Tim, three of his Special Forces buddies. <laughs> you told us about this. <laughs> and, I mean, they would do the face paint and Rambo up and take it really serious. Like, and they would compete with, like, families. And compete with, like, families. And I'm talking to him one night. He goes, yeah, boy, last night it was brutal. I took out a four-year-old girl. I'm going, what? what? You what? He goes, yeah, hey, she was trying to hide war. behind her dad, but we had the infrared oh. goggles going. And I just uh, I dialed up Isaiah and said, hey, uh, Isaiah, deke, deke the dad off that child. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I said, so you oh. you killed a four-year-old girl. And he goes, where's laser tag? Dad, she had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and it's important that they learn at an early age. You got to run with the big dogs. You got to get your butt off the porch. <laughs> I love it. Very, very cool. Well, there Dan, you thank you for coming in, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Hey, uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it, uh, you guys, very much. And again, it is a Wednesday. We already gave away one prize today. We'll be giving away more as well. So go and register if you haven't done it yet. SunnyRadio.com. You'll see a button that says click to win tickets or something along those lines. Uh, win tickets and other prizes. I don't know what it says. It says something. You'll know what it is. But when you get there, click that and register because tomorrow is Thunder Road Thursday. Friday is Free Flag Friday. Holy cow. And we've got more tickets for Generation Radio, which is at Grand it? Falls. <laughs> and we've got tickets for Marshall Tucker Band, which is going to be uh, next week at the Alliance. So we give until we I know. leave. We <laughs> give and give and we give. give. We give and we give. In order to give, you must sign. Sign up. Do it now at SunnyRadio.com. While other wireless companies raise their prices, Mint Mobile is taking a different approach. You can get premium wireless for just $15 a month. Let's say that again so you hear it right. $15 a month for unlimited premium wireless. Why would we do that? Because we can. If you're paying too much for your wireless phone, it's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. It wasn't that bad after all. With a second quarter earnings season almost in the books, worries about a rash of negative earnings surprises have proven to be unfounded. According to the latest insight from FactSet, roughly three out of four S&P 500 companies have reported positive EPS surprises on par with the historic norm. On the other hand, the big splash variety of earnings beats have been harder to come by. The average magnitude of the beats has significantly lagged the past. This means that companies that did wow us with big earnings surprises have stood out more. Based on the market's reaction, we could someday look back at Q2 earnings as a major inflection point for these stocks. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.